Uh, big game this weekend for Middlesbrough, travel to Sunderland and it's uh, a game the club really need to win after the disappointment of the Portsmouth result. Um, the away form is a genuine worry but I haven't won in the Premier League away from the Riverside this year and that's a, that's a startling statistic really and really br- draws into perspective perhaps the start of the season that the club have had two impressive home wins or two home wins, certainly the Spurs game was impressive stoke, a battling performance but away from home the, the same problems remain the good news is that Gareth Southgate has most of his first team squad available of course Tunjai won't be playing, he's out for at least another five or six weeks due to a knee injury and that's a shame, it gives Mido a massive chance though to stake a claim, scored again at Portsmouth, he's the joint top scorer in the top flight with four goals um, Shorky's back in the squad, that's excellent news and he might have a chance of playing because the central midfield area was very um, well, I wouldn't like to say the word poor but certainly was over over a run at times at Portsmouth um, alongside him, Digard's back in this squad. Hopefully, he'll be fit to play. He had a, a, a picked up an injury at Fratton Park, but it looks as though he's he's gonna be okay for selection. And of course, then it's Gareth needs to decide who he goes with. Certainly in midfield and defence, um, Sunderland spends a lot of money in the summer. They've got some high-profile players in, and the likes of players like Geoff, who the fans have encountered before, and they're not really a fan's favourite down here on Teesside. That's for certain. It should be a fairly open game. I can see there being chances for both sides. It's crucial that Brother start keeping clean sheets, particularly away from home. Um, the defence had a huge amount to do last Saturday and no real reflection on the people who were in the back four and in goal that Borough finally conceded two goals. Borough have to hold the ball up front, have to win possession in midfield and keep it and hopefully deny Sunderland the opportunities that Portsmouth enjoyed. It could have been 4-5-1 last weekend. That wouldn't have flattered Portsmouth in terms of chances they created. Um, so Gareth's upbeat, though. He always believes his side can win games, um, but they really need to avoid the, the catastrophic defending that certainly marred last season's derby at Sunderland when Borough were in a winning position and then let it slip and were caught by a last-minute sucker punch. So reasonably optimistic, but Gareth has to shore up the defence.